Hi, welcome to Manifest XR channel. You are with Topper Wong Hart, and today I would like to talk about building 3D model for home renovation. The fastest, easiest way through application leave home 3D on iPad. So let's talk about something like a more like a DIY symbol. Like for example, you would like to make a renovation of the room. You would like to put some new furniture in the room, but kind of like need to make a lot of measurement to make sure everything goes perfectly as possible. And in order to do that, a lot of people would do like a lot of photoshopping. You know, make some sort of like graphic collage. I found an application that's really simple and it is so powerful that all the professional or a major one would be able to create 3D model and a house plan for renovation by yourself. And I think that's amazing because I always supporting the people who like to do things for themselves. All you need is just an iPad. You can draw the diagrams and convert into the 3D model. Everything super fast, and eventually the next step we would like to put this 3D model into the mixed reality world. For example, like Apple Vision Pro or Meta Quest 3. But for now, this episode I would like to focus on making 3D house plan. In this case today, I would like to make a new extension of the space for like three by five for my. Decks and my computer, and the armchair to sit around inside my garden. So that would be the isolate unit from the main house, and this is kind of like a half between a big and small project. Um, I don't want to hire like a architecture to just do like a like a small stuff like a shack, like a storage room size, but. Yeah, but I think it's important for me to be able to visualize. Do I really want it, or is it gonna be difficult, or is it gonna look good on my existing garden? This application will help me a lot. So let's get started. Yeah, first thing first, you should download an app on the App Store. It calls Leave Home Three D, and then this one. You just download an app. It's free, so have a peace of mind. Everything would be fine. Um, basically, first thing first, just create a new file. Tap on the plus icon, and depends on the scale. For example, uh, with the three by five of the room scale, I think the house scale is good enough for me. So just tap on the house scale. And the next thing I would like you to do is think about the floor plan. At least you should have the dimension of the length. The width, the height of the space that you would like to design, just so roughly should be good. And then, well, because I use the meter like a like a matrix unit, but if you would like to switch to the imperial, here's the way to do. On the upper left corner, that's the three dash icon. It's like a burger icon. Tap on it, and then go to the setting. And then you should be able to find the icon like a ruler, and then you change the measurement from meter to feet, from feet to meter. For in this case, I would change to meter. Tap on the plus sign, and then build the room. It's so simple. You just tap on blank space, and then drag it. Yeah, it's that simple. So in this case, it's like a uh, three by one. But I would like to make some adjustment. I use two finger to pinch and zoom, and then tap on the wall, tap on the bank space, tap on the wall, and then make some adjustment. Yep, should be good. And then I would like to make like a floor, so I'm just gonna put a floor react, and then this one should be like uh, one meter. Should be good. And. In order to put the objects, uh, then look at the upper right corner, and you see the books icon. Tap on the books icon, and then the first tap on the left panel is the furniture. 
and then I would choose all the, the objects category. In this case, I put I would put the door, and I kind of like some sort of like a half of the glass door and just tap and drag into the wall that you would like to put it on and voila but you can see here it's like a arch of the wall the arch of the door so it's kind of like open to inside but i like you know american style would prefer like to put to put, open it up like and like this and then drag it back to the room should be good and I would like to put some sort of the table. Let's put some table. Uh, type table. Mm. Maybe this one. Simple. Tap and then put in here. Cool. Share. C H A I R. Share. Tap it. Yeah. Also, I want some armchair when I continue to work and then I like to rest for a moment. And then let's drag on the armchairs here. Okay, cool. Nice. Once you have everything almost ready, just on the upper right corner, you will see the house symbol. Tap on that button. There. Now you see. This program can convert the 2D outline into the 3D model. It's amazing. So here's the door. You can use one finger to pan around. Use two finger to zoom in and out. And then two finger. And then drag for pan. Now you can see beautiful it's okay it's not perfect but within like five or ten minutes you can have this i think this is just amazing um would be great to have a window maybe some sort of like a um, maybe this one cute i love that i think that's nice yeah okay and, but I, I'm always thinking about maybe I should add some sort of like a, like a pantry space behind. That would be great. So go back to the 2D space and then I would tap on the straight wall and then I would tap and click on this and then straight wall to this. Yes. And then straight wall to this. And voila. The, the program itself kind of like merged all the piece of wall into the room. Kind of very convenient. And I would like to delete, the, delete this wall. I just tap on the wall that I want to delete. Press and hold. And then delete. Yeah, should be good. Switch to the 3D. The wall is gone. Looks good. Okay, back to 2D. Mm. And then I would some like kitchen. Let's go to the eye icon and then press on the home button for the second level of the shelf. Then choose this icon for the roof with the plus sign. There you have it. So now you can create some sort of like shade, uh, a small flat. I think it's cute one. This one is cute. So, and you can like rotate the roof, which way that you would like to like turn and then press done. Voila, then you have it. If you would like to switch between the floor of the house, either press on the top level, 
for the roof and the middle level for the ground level and then the garden level so here we are at the normal level you could make some adjustment for the height of the wall or you can add some elevation of the house the height of the space could be like 2.5 2.5 meter. Okay, cool. I think it's cute. It's lovely. Um, but I would like to change some material. You know, like the red bricks is kind of like a kind of vintage style. Let's try something different. Go to the library, uh, upper right corner. Choose the second icon for the library. And then uh, on the second level of the shell, choose the Pantone fan. Here's the material that you can bring, drag it into the wall. For example, this brick, I would like to put into the original stone. This one? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. This one? Anyway, but you got an idea. Like, this is really simple. Can you imagine, like, some of this in the f some of this in the past used to be some sort of exclusive. The person must really good at the Photoshop or like a three D stuff would be able to do this. But now, if you have an iPad, if you have time, and you can like learn how to use this very quickly. So in this tutorial, we start from the AR. You can press on the hamburger button. And then press on the export. You can share 2D plan view and 3D capture of the surrounding. Or you can choose export and then view in AR, which you can put into the real world and then map into the real world. Like you don't have to guess what the size of the space. It's gonna map into the real world with the actual size. You can zoom, scale it, this can save you a lot of money. When you are not sure about something, you tend to make like, you know, experiment with lots of stuff. But if this thing can help you visualize what it could be for your dream house or your dream space, you can take this file, talk to the professional one, talk to your best friend, ask them for the opinion. And that would be great if the people you love and can suggest you the best way to get what you want. This thing will save you a lot of money and a lot of time. And it's super easy. Just spend some time with it. And I'm sure you can do it. On the next episode. I would like to put this 3D file into the mixed reality space. We will export the model into the OBJ file and USDC file for Apple Vision Pro and MetaQuest. So stay tuned for more info. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much for your support. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.